Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're down here by field 27. It is in corn now. So we're going to buy this field. $240,000. We will buy that. It is ours. Field 27 is ours. It's in corn, so we're going to harvest that later. Uh, tell you what, let me take... I actually need my corn header for this. I went ahead and bought the corn headers. So I'm going to take this up and uh, trade it out for a corn header. I've got uh, the other combine on field 16 over there. Actually, you know what? Let's go take a look at 24. See just how much it is. I've got a little bit of grain, I think, to sell. So we will see here in just a minute how much this is. Ouch, wow, he wants $500,000 for this field. So we need to make a little bit of money. Let's go see where we can make some money at. We want to buy it because it's already been cultivated and I want to get it before they plant the potatoes or sugar beets or something in it, you know. So let's go see what we can sell down here. Finished harvesting these fields here. I think I've still got 18 and 16 to go uh, and now 27. So let's see what we have. What do we have in storage? Whoops, I'm backing up here. Here we go. Uh, sold the barley on the great demand. Uh, got a little bit of sunflower I can sell. Tab around this guy. Got some canola here we can sell. Take this truck and fill it up. Well, maybe we can sell something. This is where I sold the barley at. And there's still a great demand for it, but I think we're out now. So yeah, getting ready to uh, start wrapping up this map. May may always come back to it. I definitely want to get the trees cleaned up. And yeah, we're gonna do some plowing here eventually. Let's see what's in here. That looks like soybeans. Let me actually let me tab around. I want to make sure that other auger wagon. This is wheat. Um, there's that guy. No, this guy's empty. I think that's it. This guy's harvesting here, and here's the other truck. This is the same truck we hit. Okay. Uh, we want the sunflower because I think it's the one with the the good price. Yeah, twenty six sixty nine, and we don't have any more, so. We're going to take that over to the Greens and Roots Sea Export. I uh, don't back up. Let me hop out here and see if we got anything that we can liquidate here. Oh yeah, we can sell this trailer and this... Uh... Well, I don't know if we need to sell the stump grinder. I think I ground out all the stumps. Maybe we can sell it. We need money ASAP. So we're going to take this load down here. Come back and get the soybeans. And we got corn and uh, stuff to sell too. We got to harvest that. Oops, sorry car. I'm in a hurry. May have to do uh, a few harvests or something. Get this grain sold and see where we stand. Let's see, is this where I need to go? I think it is. Where's the map? Grain roots and sea export. Yep, this is where I need to be. Alright, gonna sell the sunflower. 
Come on, money, get up there. Well, I got up here a little, 35,000. Let's go get the soybean. Tell you what, how much is canola going for? Canola is in the toilet. Corn is going down. It's also going up. It's grains, roots, and sea export. We may have to start our liquidation a little early. Get rid of some equipment. Let's get the canola. We'll put it in storage. Got about 5,000 liters of it. Not a whole lot. But we do have plenty of corn, so we probably need to get to harvesting that. Where's the other combine at here? There it is. I'm going to trade these headers out. Let's go park this one over here. Right there should work. Grab these corn hitters. Alright, I'm going to head down to the southwest first. We can get this uh, corn harvested and get it sold. Maybe that price coming up, we can hit that price and uh, make a little extra money. And I'll start. Uh, I'll start liquidating some equipment. We uh, don't need some of that equipment. All right. Let's get going on this. that out. We'll swap out headers on this one too. You know what we could do? We could do a mission on that field just to ensure that it's not planted in uh, potatoes or Sugar beets. It's all the time planted in sugar beets. It looks it's like a repeated process almost. Let's see, I'm going to have to go through the obstacle course here. Uh-oh, somebody's blocked by an object. Helper H. Oh, it must be the auger wagon. Yep. Gonna have to move that. Wonder if I can sneak this in behind this one here. I think so. out of the way and see if he'll turn around. Should turn around. Yep.
He actually didn't go very far. I want to come back and get that. Should go all the way to the end this time. We'll watch and see. Gotta drip around a little bit, right? Oh, I forgot about this tree line over here, though. You know what? Maybe I should put this guy... Depends on how he turns around. Oh, well, he's gonna back around. Never mind. I really don't like this because they drive over the crop. I think all the maps should be designed where they can reach the end of the field and maybe back up and go in a clockwise. You know, they should have that. They should have the harvesting where it doesn't just go back and forth. They should have it to where they can do clockwise harvesting, where they can do counterclockwise, where they can harvest like in uh, like in uh, not straight lines, like curves. I know that's asking a lot, but uh, I don't know, it'd be more real. All right, while these guys are harvesting, I'm gonna head back over to the homestead. Here's the canola. We'll put this in storage. I'm gonna wait for the price to come up on this. Gotta get these trees up. I know I've I've kept I think I've said that for like the last ten episodes, but I've got to get them up. The final countdown now, so gotta get them up. Need to move that weight too. That weight's kind of in the way. All right. Move this out of the way. Now, what else do I have in storage here? Got a little bit of corn already in storage. If that price will keep coming up at the uh, export company, we can take it down there and sell the corn. But I think I'm gonna get started on the liquidation process here. I guess that's what you call it. All right. Let me put the soy, this soybean in there too, while I'm thinking about it. It's not much, but... Yeah, about 8,000 liters. So if we're lucky, we can get two truckloads of corn down there and sell it at a good price. Let's see, I need a tractor. What tractor is not being used? This one's over here with these guys. This one is not being used. So we'll head down to the shop and get some of this stuff sold. I think I've ground out all of my stumps. I need to check behind the house there just to be sure. But I think I've got them all ground out. Woo. Well, this is a tight spot. Let me push that trailer over. Not over, over, but just kind of scoot it a little. There we go. When I plant, I need to remember to get that uh, 
that feed and stuff. What else can I liquidate here? You know, I really don't need two auger wagons. I just need the one for right now. And actually, I don't really need two tractors. I could just use the one for right now. So let me sell this stuff. Because I really want to buy that field. I may run a mission on it here in just a minute. Just to see what I can plan in it. After I sell this stuff. Need to sell the bale trailer. I'm not going to be picking up any more bales on this map for right now. Take a shortcut. How about it? All right, got the planters over here. I'm gonna keep both planters, I think. Well, if I'm only gonna have one tractor, uh, maybe I should keep both tractors. Tell you what, I'll just drop not that this first. And then I'll drop this. And let me... I really want to keep both planters. We really need two tractors with all the fields we got. One tractor is just going to be awful, so... Let me run over here and see what the mission is on that field. It's the last field besides 29. What's in 29? Let me drive down there and see. 29 shouldn't be that expensive. I will say, you know, without any work at all, this would be the great map for sheep. Um, there's just grass everywhere. I mean, there is no shortage of grass. You could even cut down trees in those areas back there, and, you know, all around there's grass everywhere. Here it is. Looks like it's in potatoes or something. Yep, that's what it looks like. Okay, we'll wait on that one. 29, probably the last field we buy. Let's go see what the mission is over on 24. Need to make a right and then straight ahead. See, they've already harvested this, so I can cut across. Where are they at? Oh, they have nearly full grain tanks. I need to offload them, too. I think I can see what the mission is first. Hopefully it pays a lot. It's a big field. Maybe it needs to be fertilized or something. Although, looking at it, it looks like it needs to be planted. Looks like it's cultivated. Let's see. Yes. Fifteen thousand dollars. What else? What else can we plant here? Can we use a different planter? Because that's the planter for sugar. For uh, not sure. Yeah, for sugar beets. Uh, there's the small one for twenty-three thousand dollars. Can we get a bigger planter? He really wants us to use that corn planter. Well, I've never used that uh, limkin thing. This guy, Joshua Allen, he really likes sugar beets. Tell you what, we'll come back to this and run this mission, I think. And hopefully plant it with something that uh, is not sugar beets. So let me tab down to the combines down here and get them offloaded.
I think they're both about full. Yeah, they're both flashing. So I'm going to start with this one. So in the meantime, I'm going to get this field finished uh, harvested, get it all done. I'm going to run up to 18 and get that corn out of that field. There's a little bit more down there, so we'll hopefully we'll have enough corn and the price will be good enough to sell it. And uh, we'll make some money and then we can finally afford field 24. But I need to run the mission just to make sure it gets planted in something other than sugar beets in order to buy it. So I'll work on that and uh, come back and hopefully we'll be able to buy field 24. And then we can get uh, our final crop planted here and get some plowing done too. So until next time guys, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys later.